the site is essentially done, but he has never provided me a payment method. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Judith Scheindlin. This is Judge Judy. Did you ever see these? No, I did not, Your Honor. Sportswear Alley, Coach's Corner. It only costs $25 a month. What is that? That was something that Jeff and I discussed where he... All right, this is our good friend Marcus Montgomery, a fellow web designer, and he is in a bit of a pickle right now being on national television in a court case being sued by a client for issues within their web design project and so we're going to find out who's in the wrong here would have an insider report for fanatical football fans people that are really into football they would get injury reports on the week they would get team forecasts and other information about what their team of choice was doing did you ever show him these no he never asked to see him and and the thing is is those marcus 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 um you can tell just by looking at these two guys, I think it's funny you can tell who's the villain. <laughs> and that's not just because I'm a web designer. Um, you know that the client is, is in the wrong here. But you're going to see throughout this clip, there are so many things that Marcus did wrong or could have done better. So right here off the bat, this is just showing me Marcus's inexperience. Um, Judge Judy asked him, did you show him these updates? Did you show him the work you had done? And <laughs> Marcus replies, well, he didn't ask to see him. Well, us as the experts, the web designers, the web developers, it's our job to guide the client through the project. And this starts with the expectations that you set at the beginning of the project. And then every time you give them an update, every time you request feedback, you are just bringing them back to the path and making sure that both of you stay on track so that the project can get completed by your deadline. And so I can see already how this thing is starting to go off the rails. Those jerseys did not go up until February of this year because he didn't give me the list of jerseys he wanted. And here's the email from him, Your Honor. The date is February 9th of 2016. Five and a half months later is when I get the list of jerseys that okay, he wanted great. done. Terrific. All right, we've all been through this. So here Marcus is saying, Judge, I did everything I was supposed to, and I had to sit around and wait for the client for months and months for him to get me the content that I needed to finish the website. Now, this is something that happens on most projects, but there is a really, really easy way to avoid this altogether. So what Marcus could have done is he could have put in his contract that if the content is not provided by a specific date, that there is an additional charge that, that goes along with that. Now, by doing this, it's going to motivate the client to get that ready, but you as the designer, you shouldn't just be left on the line, not getting paid, but having to continually put effort and energy into this project and following up and trying to get that content from them. You should be getting paid because that's using up your precious time and energy. So having a clause in your contract that says there is a fee if you don't get me everything on time. The other thing that could have been done is just say, once all the work is done, we're going to launch by this date and no later. And if you haven't gotten me what you need to get me, content, images, um, logins, access to domain name, whatever that is, that we're going to launch the site no matter what, and you're going to get the final invoice. This is going to put the ball in their court. And you're just saying, hey, I've done everything that was requested of me. I'm not going to sit around and not get paid just because you want to take your time. Now, a third option is charging more money up front. Now, I'm guessing by just listening to Marcus that he probably didn't collect money up front, or if he did, he probably collected very little. And that's why he's so stressed about this whole interaction because he still hasn't been paid for all of his time and his work. So one thing he could have done is charged 100% up front, which sometimes might be difficult. So let's just say he charges 50% of the price up front and 50% at the halfway mark. This leaves the second half of the project. All of the pressure of that is on the client. They're the ones that want to get this published and get this live because they've already paid for all of it. And so there's no benefit to them holding off. They're not dreading some final invoice that, that maybe they can't pay, but you've already collected all of the money for this project. So certainly there are a lot of good ways that you can avoid these issues. Do you remember sending this to him in February? Yes, I, I, yes, I do, Your Honor. And that was the list of the 100 
jerseys that he was supplying me on the website of the players' jerseys that I wanted. So in February, you had this communication with him. You supplied him with the jerseys. As a result of that, you did this? I've done the whole thing, Your Honor. There's eight pages of jerseys. The whole hundred have been loaded. The problem is, is I got that this year in February. It was done by March. The whole problem with this is the site is essentially done, but he has never provided me a payment method to where someone can pay and they'll get a jersey. I mean, he hasn't so given me something that So is what you're will... telling me that at this point, the only thing you need... All right, I just feel bad for Marcus right here because he's done all of the work. It, it seems that he has been honest. He's done what he, what he promised he would do, and yet he's here in court being sued. And, and this is really, really frustrating, right? It, now it's talking about him needing access to a payment processor. This is another thing that could have been foreseen. He could have known, okay, this is an e-commerce website. Luckily, there are easier solutions now than there was back in 2016, but he could have easily put a clause in that said, I need access to a payment processor by this date, and if you don't get it, we're going to go live, and you just won't have the, the feature on your website of being able to collect payments, and that's on you. This should not be the responsibility and the problem of Marcus from the plaintiff because the site is completed mm -hmm. is for him to open an account with Visa for instance and that was or MasterCard or PayPal or whatever people use these days mm -hmm. or is it Bitcoin or whatever else it is and say this is the way you have to pay for your jersey it, I, 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 I don't know no, I've no, never ordered anything sounds online. right so is that what you're missing? Yes, that's one thing I'm missing, Your Honor. But here's the, here's the whole issue. When we first started this, I told Jeff, I need you to go down to Secretary of State, take the name Sportswear Alley, get a DBA, go to your bank, and open up an account. His response was, I do not want Social Security to know that I'm running this business. I want it to be under the radar. That's why he would... All right, if I heard this in an intro or a discovery call, that would be the end of the conversation because the client has already showed his hand and showed what type of person he is. He's the type of person that wants to do things off the books, under the radar. He's dishonest. And so why would I get into business with this type of person? And, and even more so, why would I put my trust in this type of person by not collecting all of the payment up front? Just really relying on the word of this guy that he's going to pay me at the end of the project. And so um, I really feel for Marcus because this could have been prevented right from the start when he realized that this individual was a dishonest person. And projects with clients like this just never work out. And every time I've tried to push one through because I wanted to get paid, I, I just end up getting screwed. And so if you ever catch any hint of dishonesty or, or this being a person that you can't trust, walk away. There is nothing wrong with walking away from a project. And in this case, Marcus could have been spending this day working with other clients that appreciate and respect his work, but instead he is in a court case on national television having to deal with this frustrating client not provide that and he tried to get a um, prepaid card I guess and the card has never worked so that's one thing I need the second thing I need is to know what type of jerseys these are if you look your honor on those jerseys you'll see that there's a, a default price of five dollars and you'll see there's no description oh, I understand how old are you sir I am 53 years old well you're certainly much too young to collect Social Security so you collect Social Security disability I do and and how long have you been collecting Social Security 25 years your honor and if you make a certain amount of money that disability stops that is correct your honor got it I got it so the rest of this video focuses more on the client and his dishonesty in collecting Social Security essentially what that means is he didn't want to report the income from this website because then he would not qualify for the free benefits from the government so uh, again a lot of red flags here with uh, with what type of person he is but overall, I really feel for Marcus. He seems like a good guy. I'm sure he learned from, uh, from this experience, just like all of us have learned from experiences with bad clients. I'm grateful that I have never ended up um, in, in some type of lawsuit, but it could happen to any of us if we're not careful. So going away from this video, I would just really encourage you to be cautious of the people that you choose to work with. Make sure that you have a really ironclad contract that covers everything.
this is going to keep you covered, this is going to keep you safe, and ensure that you don't end up in one of these situations. So if you like this type of video, be sure to let me know by hitting the like button, and if you have questions or, or thoughts about this, drop them in the comments. I'll be quick to respond to every single one. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.